Welcome to Restoration. I'm Cliff. And I'm Linda. He's alive and we're forgiven. That's the important thing. Now, this is the day when most people get up and go to church, so don't forget that. <laughs> you know, I know that this is early morning, but get up and get yourself together and go and visit your neighborhood church and celebrate with us the risen Savior alive because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And, and truly, we do have something to celebrate That's right. today. And, it's and wonderful. no man goes unto the Father except through Christ, yes. this Savior. This is why the, the world today wants to take the name of Jesus out of everything. Mm -hmm. It's okay to talk about God, but they don't want to talk about Christ, who is the Savior. They don't want the name of Jesus uh, mentioned. And you see, this is the important thing, because... It is in his name that we have power. Yes. It is in his name that we achieve righteousness. It is in his name and in his blood that salvation has come to us. And that's another thing is the blood. You know, they want to take the blood out of everything. The hymnal. That's right. I heard know. a story about a praise and worship leader who had developed a medley mm. about the mm -hmm. blood songs. Mm -hmm. uh, there's power in the blood. Uh, mm -hmm. You're washed in the blood. Right. All of those songs. And when presented in the church, the pastor of the church uh, came to this young lady who was a praise and worship leader and told her that she would not ever again utilize those songs. Well, in we, the would, church. we wouldn't have what we have today without the blood. The blood That's of Jesus all there Christ. Is to it has set us free from the law of sin and death, mm -hmm. and we are washed in, in the blood, the blood of That's Jesus right. Christ. What that means is that Christ has become our sacrifice mm -hmm. for sins, and his death and resurrection finished the sacrificial um, offerings that were made. And so <laughs> when that blood was poured out at the whipping post, <laughs> When his flesh was open and that blood came out, it was done. And that's what Jesus meant when he said from the cross, it is finished. When he comes back, he won't be the same Jesus that was tied at that whipping post. No. And he won't. Then he was the sacrificial lamb. Mm -hmm. When he comes back, he will come back as the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes, he will. We're moving into the days um, that are noted as the last days. We have been in them for a while, but Jesus Christ is soon to return. Amen. And you Amen. know what? He loves us so much that he endured all of the things that took place yes. from the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm-hmm all of the way through to the end of the crucifixion when he was taken down from the cross and placed in that cold, borrowed tomb. Mm -hmm. You know, think about that for just a moment. I know that in our day and time, we have so much betrayal. And uh, I was just uh, reading an email uh, just the other day talking about the gospel of Judas. Uh -huh. And you know, our Bible is so plain mm -hmm. and portraying Judas as the one who did betray Christ. It seems like that's a sign of our times. We, we're always looking and searching for things. Another and the, way. And the answer is always right before us, and we don't even realize it a lot of times. That's, that's right. That's the word of God. He tells us those things. That's right. This word truly is... His word spoken to us by men of old, prophets mm -hmm. who loved God and who were moved by God to share his word. But Judas betrayed Christ. And oftentimes we ourselves are betrayed. To be betrayed by someone is, is painful. Especially somebody that has eaten at your table. Mm -hmm. I think everyone has suffered that at one time or mm -hmm. another been in your home, mm -hmm. walked with you. And not really paying any attention. And because you take them into your confidence, mm -hmm. you take them into your home, your, you know, just, it's kind of like you surround a baby. You just pick up a baby and love the child. And that's the way we do 
friends and relatives and things like that and people in our lives. And then when you're betrayed, you know, trust is broken. Right. And so we absolutely want to say, I never want to go there again. I will never let another human being betray me. We forget what Christ said. And we forget a lot of times what he did. That's right. And hanging on that cross as he looked at those individuals who had nailed him there. And let's get this straight, that there was much controversy over the fact of the passion being made by Mel Gibson. Mm -hmm. And so many people were saying, well, we're por portraying uh, the Jewish people as those who crucified Christ. Mm -hmm. That is not true. Because we all had a part in crucifying Christ. Yes, we did. Every man, woman, and child is born into sin. It right. is the sin that crucified Christ. And the sin that willfully we have committed. <laughs> That is what crucified Christ, mm -hmm. because he came to die for us that we would not suffer the punishment of the things that we've done. He, he paid a debt that he didn't owe. That's we right. owed the debt. That's right. That but we, we couldn't, couldn't pay it. That's right. In order for us to <coughs> pay it, we would have to die. Mm -hmm. But in order for us to die, we would have to then stand in judgment, mm -hmm. which would condemn us to hell. True, true. And therefore, we had to have righteousness cover us and there was only one pure one. That's right, because we have no righteousness. None of us have righteousness within ourselves. That's right. And when we come back to think about the betrayals, we come back to think about the hardships and the things that we face. And you know, there, one of the largest things that we face today is relationship problems mm -hmm. between husbands and wives, mm -hmm. mothers and daughters, fathers and sons, yes. brothers and sisters. Relationship problems. Yes. And because of betrayal mm -hmm. or broken trust, broken trust. Mm -hmm. But remember what Jesus said. We crucified him, remember? Mm -hmm. And he looked out and he said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. And he tells us, unless you yourself are willing to forgive mm -hmm. all of those things, you cannot be forgiven. No. It's more of him and less of us. That's right. And Jesus said there in Matthew 10, you then must take up your cross. That's kind of painful. Follow. You know, when we yeah. don't want to really take up our crosses today. No, I, um, You know, we take up other um, things in our lives and we can get on the bandwagon to do different things. You know, I mean, I'm all for this and I'm against this. But taking up our cross on a daily basis requires a lot out of our lives. We don't want to put up with anything. No, we, we don't want, want the blessing. Right. We, we talk about the blessings. I want the blessings more than I want to take up my cross because my, requ my cross requires me to do something. It requires you to be selfless. Yes. Not selfish. Right. And, and so, so when you put yourself down, mm -hmm. then God can lift you up. Well, the scripture teaches us that humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you, not you exalt you, he may exalt in you due time. in due time. Everything that he did had a purpose. Mm -hmm. The whipping post, the blood poured out there on the pavement, the stripes that were bore on his back. Isaiah 53 says, by his stripes, he took the chastisement that was meant for us, our iniquities, the things that we've done wrong. Mm -hmm. He paid the price for that, even for you today. Yes. At this very moment, whatever you've done, uh, you can turn it around. If you have sorrow for that, if you desire to change your life, you can turn it around. Mm -hmm. New life, new yes. life, restoration, being changed, being turned around. Mm -hmm. He's, those open gashes that we see, look at them. Those paid the price for your healing. Yes, they did. That blood covers your sin. Thank you, Jesus. He provided the way out for you today. You think there's no hope? Oh, there's hope. Yes, there is. There is hope in Jesus. You see, Paul said this. Faith, hope, and charity. Mm -hmm. These three they're going to remain when everything else passes away. That's right. No matter what your position in life, no matter what your 
position is in your relationships today. God can bring uncommon healing into your life. All you have to have is a willing heart mm -hmm. and a desire to do right. Right. And when you have that desire to turn around, God said, I am as close to you as the words in your mouth. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He'll never leave you. He's there all the time. That's right. He'll help you, and all you have to do is call out to him. Mm -hmm. If your heart's broken, if your spirit is feels dead inside, mm -hmm. he said, I'm close to you. Mm -hmm. He's closer to you at that moment than at any other time. Yes, he is. Been there, done that. All you have to do is just Ooh, cry yeah. out and say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died, that you were re resurrected, mm -hmm. and that you now stand at the right hand of God, and you're soon to return. And I receive you as my Savior. Give me new life. Give me new life. Give me new life. And we see it. It's, it's, you know, I don't think it's an accident that we look around us today and see trees blooming, mm -mm. see grass blooming, growing up and um, the beauty of flowers beginning to spring forth, birds singing. Um, at this time of year, it is new life. Mm -hmm. A new, new beginning. That's A right. new beginning. Restoration. The winter time is past. The new life is springing forth. It's a new season. A new day, mm -hmm. a new season, a new day. And we can move into that because Jesus is alive. Because he is alive. That's right. We go forth. And because he lives, we, we can live. live. Mm -hmm. In him, all Hallelujah. things are possible. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He's alive. May life come to you. Would you pray with us? Father, we come this morning. Yes, Jesus. And we pray that you will touch, touch the lives of lives everyone. Everywhere. New life. Yes, restoration. Lord. Healing. Strength. Thank Revival, you, Lord God, Thank for you. your people. Yes, Lord. Everywhere. In the name of Jesus, we speak. Receive today yes, Lord. the provision of the today. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We'll give you the Amen. Praise.